Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm your host, Longtime Listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. Um, let's see, we're like mid-spring at this point. I should say like early to mid-spring, because I think it's like the 10th or 11th-ish. No, it's the 11th, because we had Vincent's birthday in the last episode. So let's check the calendar. Nothing. Uh, so that's that. Let's then come on over here. Check and see what's going on in weather. Still no rainy days in the spring. Neutral luck and living off the land. Talking about crab pots. Okay. Now, let's uh, jump over to the Wheel of Uncertainty and see what our challenge is going to be today. Oh, come on with this. Only one tool. Um, which is the same one that we had to start. Um, whoops. <coughs> That's the same challenge we had in the, the first day of the last episode. So. There's no sense in doing an axe. Because we did that last time. There's like no trees for me to cut. So I guess we'll do the pickaxe. Yeah. So let's go ahead and put the others away. Uh, right there. Boom, 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 boom. <clears throat> so. What does that mean for us in terms... Well, oh, you know what? We're going to steal water Bennett's dish. Because it's not like it benefits anybody in any way. Uh, it's just for fun. So. Alright. In fact, let's go ahead and put that away. Just so I'm not... Like, I can't think of anything I would need to use it for anyways. But... Ooh, we got another uh, ancient fruit. So, now the question is, will we actually get more than just one ancient seed after putting this one into the uh, seed maker? You know what I mean? Because we haven't had any luck on that front yet. <clears throat> so here goes nothing. Uh, saving that... Right? No. I am. Man, it's nice having that auto feeder. <laughs> Alright, our big coop should be ready tomorrow. So there's that. And that'll mean we can buy some ducks. Which we will probably do tomorrow. Um, no, don't eat the green bean. Man, those rhubarbs. Man, those things look ready. So, harvesting these green beans is not actually the easiest thing. Because I kind of have to come down in the middle there. But whatever. We'll only have to do it a few times. Ooh, we got... Blobfish Row. Not that that's super exciting. Um, I don't think it's crazy valuable. But the reason we have the blobfish has nothing to do with the row. The reason we have the blobfish is because they can give you pearls. <clears throat> Alright, you go in there. <coughs> and I would say that's probably all we need to bother smelting for the moment. We got four jades, y'all. Boop, 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 boop. And you can see how the more crystallariums you've got, you can real quickly scale up your stash of jades. All right, you go in there. Do I need green beans? I feel like I do. Yeah, we're going to save... <clears throat> Let's go with regulars. 
Doesn't really matter, I don't think. I don't think I need any more corn. Yeah, we got 15. Um, milk. Hey, we got three this time. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I, uh, I've got the preserves jars full, so I can actually just hang on to the uh, row that we got. So that's cool. Uh, let's go plant these ancient fruits. And then... We can go on about our day. <coughs> it's only 9.30. And, the, like, I can go to Clint's, I guess, real quick and have him bust those geodes. Yeah, we can sell all that stuff. I'm going to hang on. No, we'll sell the uh, extra cheeses. I don't need that much cheese, man. Here comes Pam. So she's making her way. Ooh. Uh, so we're going to go to town. If I do this efficiently, I can maybe get back to the bus stop like right when she's getting there. But I'll probably have to go to the museum. Or at least I'm kind of hoping that I do with all these geodes. But so far, looking like no. Pretty sure I already, yeah, I already have Jasper. Do I have that one? I do. I got that one. I got that one. There's another piece of marble, which I'm okay with. Because I know that I need at least one for crafting. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Um, let's go to minerals and just hit that button for now. And then you can go, and you can go in there, you can go in there, right? And come over here, boom, spring, boom, and then sell, <coughs> excuse me, sell that back to him for 85G. All right, now back to the bus stop. Come on, Pam. Come on, come on. Come on. Yep. She's like, come on, I just got here. You can't even give me a second to, like, warm up the bus. <clears throat> Okie dokie. So, we're up here because we really don't have anything else to do today. Uh, so, we might as well go to the Skull Cavern and try and be somewhat productive with our pickaxe. You know what I'm saying? I don't really want to use any bombs, though. Because I only have 71. Still don't have enough staircases to really do the kind of run that I want to. So when we're up here, uh, why don't we take a couple of spicy eel? That can't hurt much. <coughs> um, and we'll take, like... 10 bombs and two two staircases Th those are for emergencies <sighs> and look at this I'm already getting swarmed by these things and it from the the south oh he dropped me a bomb I should have waited ooh red cabbage seed so, well, it doesn't matter now. Um, but that's a really rare drop. That's one way that you can complete the community center in the first year if you get access to the Skull Cavern. Um, ooh, secret note. Boop. I borrowed a necklace from Mom, but lost it somewhere near the bathhouse. She's going to freak out if she notices it missing. Okay. So, oh, come on. Leave me alone. Drop a bomb. Die. No bomb. That might not have been a terrible spot for a bomb right over there because of how much concentrated 
st you know stone and stuff there was. Like right here's another pretty good spot, perhaps. Didn't get me a ladder though, and that's what I was you know ultimately wanting out of that. Okay. Bring the coal up here. Like I want stuff that I kind of am interested in somewhat to be up there where I can see how much of it I've got. You know what I'm saying? I heard a slime down here somewhere. Oh my gosh. These guys. I need to really start paying attention to... Get out of here, torch. Ooh, 2G for that torch. Dang it. I gotta start paying attention to when to sw when I swing that I can make contact. You know what I mean? Like how far away uh, the flying serpent needs to be to get it instead of swing and miss like I tend to do so often. You know what I mean? All I do is just say, oh, I'm so bad at them when they're coming from the south. We'll figure out how to fix it, man. Don't just acknowledge the problem. Find a solution. <clears throat> I had a really cool call, well, cool as in, like, it was just one of those, like, sales calls where you just feel like everything kind of went exactly as planned. Uh, oh, dang it. Uh, but anyway, it was a call with a regional uh, fast food chain. I say regional, but it's borderline what you would call a national food chain but anyway they're looking at doing a self-order kiosk and we had a call to kind of talk about some technical questions that they had and stuff like that and it went super duper well <clears throat> uh-oh i hope it's just bats that come at me with this and not these crazy serpents Cause it, oh yeah. Get out of there. That's why you bring some staircases. Just in case. You know, I don't feel like those guys are doing as much damage as usual. Does luck dictate that in any way? Or like, why are they not killing me so easily? What's up with that? <clears throat> Come on. This isn't going very well, frankly. But, it's alright. It's okay to be okay. You don't have to always be great. Just be yourself. <laughs> what am I talking about? Um... Ah, rats. See these slot Oh, whoa. I wasn't expecting him to blow up so easily. I wonder if that was a critical strike or if I had already hit him when I wasn't really paying attention. Got some iridium there. I have three iridium so far on this run. Ooh, and this thing. A curiosity lure. So it increases your chance to catch rare fish. I don't care about that whatsoever trash <laughs> honestly i don't even really care that much about that red cabbage seed um we'll keep it but that's something that i would throw away if i you know have to pick from things to throw away that one could make that list <clears throat> i gotta keep an eye on the time i have a tendency to lose track of time when in the mines um, so anywho, I am considering the, uh, possibility, oh my gosh, again? And it's not even bats, like, it's these stupid guys that, ah, oh, eat, yikes, that was close. 
Ah! Well, we're going to kill a bunch of these guys. Um, if this keeps going this way. Because none of them are dropping freaking ladders for me. There, they're finally done coming at me at least. Jeez. We have uh, got to find a shaft or... A treasure room would be awesome, but I don't know if you can get treasure rooms until you make it to level 100 the first time. I've never really paid attention to it. Because um, usually I don't make that many Skull Cavern runs until I'm pretty sure I can get to the 100th floor. There we go. Let's go ahead and eat just to fill up the old energy bar there. Ooh, nice. I don't like those floors that are, like, long and uh, narrow. <clears throat> so to get that ladder right away was clutch. Oh, come on. Ladder or stair or shaft or something. Give me something that gets me excited about this trip. Like, at least enough... Iridium to make another bar is like my minimum to consider this even close to a success. I mean, we're only on the 10th level and we've been here for like eight hours. Ah! Oh, come on. Drop a bomb, dude! All right, let's get him sort of cornered there, right against that stone so that I can... Yeah. Ah, oh, dang it. No iridium out of those guys, though. My, uh... What's it called? Just wore off. Spicy eel. So the once those buffers go away, you'll want to eat another one. Get yourself the speed back. And what does it give me? Luck? Speed and luck, I think. Yeah. There we go. Alright, surely we'll get um, some iridium out of this floor. With all these slimes, if I go ahead and kill them... I don't like where this one is. Now we got them all the way up against the wall. You got him against the ropes. Finish him! All right, we got one more iridium there. Ah. Ooh, a diamond. But no iridium. <sighs> Just not good. We got a bunch of stone on this run. That's pretty solid. But we're going to go late on this run if we have to, to try and get that one last piece of ore. Because I do not want to leave here without the ability to make one more and get us another Crystallarium. Oh. Dang it. Give me a ladder. Or a shaft. Why have we gotten zero shafts? We're getting the shaft by not getting shafts. <clears throat> the other downside to a day like this is, you know, one of the things that I'm kind of wanting to be able to do is go buy the pigs. But I need 64000 bucks to get all four. And we're... Ooh, he dropped me a spicy eel. Thanks, man. That uh, slime over there has a pink cake in it. You see it? Lots of stone on this floor. Oh, come on. Drop a freaking... 
Iridium, dang it. Or a prismatic shard. I mean, holy crap. What is going on here, guys? Not getting any of the cool stuff. I gotta eat. on please for the love of Pete give me some iridium there we go let's get out of here actually no let's go down and get the coal that's going to be down here and then get out of here that took a long time to get to level 14 <laughs> That's cray-cray. <clears throat> Alright. But, I'll call that day a minor success. We got... We had to use one staircase. It was a wash on bombs. Um, we ended up using one spicy eel... And we got enough iridium for another bar. Plus, we got a bunch of coal. We got some copper, iron, and gold. We got a bunch of stone. A pink cake. Some geodes. It's a win. Right? Alright, now tomorrow... What are we going to do? Well, tomorrow, we got to wait and see what our challenge is for tomorrow. Um... And then decide what to do. Hey, boss, I put... Uh, somebody just texted me and said, Hey, man, I put you on my out-of-office. Is that cool? <laughs> uh, I guess I better be. So, anyway. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I did a... Uh, <clears throat> Um, I've been, you know, I, I know I've been talking about my gambling adventures and I started doing a little bit more homework on baseball games to try and, you know, really fine tune my studying before deciding to bet on, uh, why did that one show up when the other ones didn't that he sent? But anyway, um, I started really looking into details as far as like, uh, not only how well the pitchers have been doing lately, but uh, how well they do when pitching on the road versus at home. Um, what the team's record has been lately is one that I'm paying a little bit more attention to. But anyway, I, I really kind of tested that theory yesterday. Uh, actually, let's put one of you in there. And then we're going to grab 20 of you. And then that. <clears throat> Let's go to the bin and sell the things that I want to sell. Oh, I don't want to sell that diamond. That stays in there, right? Foraging. You go in there. No, all season gets the coconut. Summer will get that. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, three more jade. And then let's grab our tools. From this one. Boom, 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 boom. And there we go. <coughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's uh, recycle some stuff. Uh, let's do blobfish row, because why not? All right, sell that, and bedtime. Wait, make sure there's nothing in there that I shouldn't have sold. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. My computer is, it's not like super, like, sluggish, but there, it's like, it'll glitch for a second every once in a while. It's kind of sporadic. It's not like steadily like da 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 da. It's every once in a while like a a dip. 
so I'm clicking on the wrong thing or I'm not running to the right place. So we got 6,100 bucks. That gets us up over six grand. But anyway, with my baseball thing yesterday, I bet on five games individually and as a parlay, and they all hit, which is awesome. With the only exception being that the Baltimore Orioles game, where they won as uh, sort of an underdog, they won seven nothing, but the game was shortened due to rain, and so the individual bet didn't take that into account because I bet on a spread instead of just for them to win. But anyway, we did that, and then we've got th th four games underway right now, and so far we're up six one, one nothing, one nothing, and then the other one just started. So we'll see if it keeps going well. But if it does, holy moly! I didn't. I wasn't paying attention to the weather. Oh, uh, the Egg Festival is tomorrow. So that's going on. Come on up, wheel. There we go. <clears throat> so the Wheel of Uncertainty. No. No, we're not doing this again. Those are the same two we had last time. So we're going to spin again. <laughs> Oh my gosh, really? With this? It really wants us to do no town or beach. Um, and I suppose there's not a, a reason why we can't do that again, so... Whatever. <laughs> we can't go into the town or to the beach. Um, Marnie sent us some hay. Lewis reminding us about the festival. Robin... Blah, blah, blah. Coop upgrade also installed an incubator. If you have space left in your coop, the egg will hatch in several days. Um, boom. Big shed. You go in there. We got some more blue jazz, honey. And do it. Well, let's check the crops later. We'll check them when we get back from the uh, barn and coop. All right. <clears throat> I'm almost to the point where I'm ready to just stop checking on the mushroom cave. Um, but it's a part of our routine. So I don't want to break the routine and risk it messing me up to where I forget to do something else that's important. So, we're going to just keep doing it. I mean, it's so, you know, it's just such an incremental amount of cash that it's almost not worth my time. It's basically what it comes down to. But it doesn't take long, so it's all good in the neighborhood. Alright, we're going to go ahead and do more goat's milk. So... We have 60,500 bucks. I might break our rule about not being able to go into town so that I can set. You know what? No, we're not. We're not going to. I was going to do it so I could uh, sell stuff to uh, Pierre and go buy uh, pigs. But I would feel sort of guilty about it. I mean, we made that challenge for a reason. Uh, let's go to the, where would that be? Artisan goods? Boom. So we have, we've got our dinosaur egg there to incubate. So when that baby hatches, still no rhubarb. That is getting on my nerves. All right, so we're at max capacity on the lava eel and on the sturgeon, and they want a nautilus shell. And we've got three of those. Boo! Wow, thanks for the Nautilus shell. So now they can go up to quantity 10. And that's as high as fish ponds can go. So there you have it. Ooh, our last tree is ready to tap. I wasn't really paying attention to whether or not it was yesterday, but if it was, we missed it. Okay, so I need 40 pieces of wood and two of those. 
And there you go. Ooh, I watched um, the new Adam Sandler film on Netflix, Hustle. It's about basketball. And I'm not a huge basketball fan, but I heard it was really good. Uh, and I watched it. And I will agree with the reviews that I've heard. It was pretty good. Uh, classic Adam Sandler humor thrown in there, of course. Uh, but not like... It wasn't a comedy film. So... All right, um, let's just go like this. So I need to go spring. We need one apricot. In fact, let's just do that and then grab those. Summer, I don't think anything needs to go in there. Fall, nothing needs to go in there. Uh, artisan goods. Three more milks in there. And then we'll sell all of the honey, I guess. Did I say I was going to keep more pine tar for some reason? Yeah, I think I need it for crafting. Um, and I could be wrong about that. We've got jelly, so like we can sell all of this stuff. Except for we don't want to sell that. We want to grab that and go like that. And should we smelt? We got a hundred. Let's do a little bit more iron just to get it over a hundred, I guess. Not really sure what all I will need that for later, but uh, we'll find out. You know what I mean? All right, so sell. You know what? We're gonna go down. No, we're not. The cow, the cows can, or the uh, the the pigs can wait, y'all. We'll get enough, and we can do it tomorrow. We do need to go to um, the traveling cart. So let's come on down there, and then I guess really don't know what else to do today, guys. <sighs> I don't feel like going mining again. Not like there's a whole lot of trees that I can chop because we cut them all down recently. So... What you got for me? Rare seed and that's it. That's okay though. We could go visit, visit the uh, wizard today. Death! 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 Ooh, we can go to the uh, rock quarry today. And at the moment, it is still just a rock quarry. But once I get a prismatic shard, that rock quarry is going to get converted to another tree farm. Because I just don't have a huge need for the rock quarry. Um, like I'm not going to go there to collect stone and ore. That's just silly. There are other places I can do that. And that's good usable space that I can plant trees. Um, or, you know, ha wait. Did I hear a slime? I'm hearing a slime. Where you at, slime? He's out there somewhere. But he must be somewhere where he can't get to me and I can't get to him. It's okay. Hey! Hey! Okay. Well. Nope, not there. Not there. Okay. There must have been just a weed right behind that that I couldn't see <clears throat> there's another one down there what's going on man cut it out Ooh, three nothing now on one of those games i believe the townsfolk are afraid of me it's unfortunate but i suppose it is human to be afraid of the unknown indeed 
Uh, we played a couple more days of Stardew Valley with my kiddos the other day, and man, they are, they're hooked. You know, it's to the point where, like, when we get up in the morning, we're getting breakfast, and we're talking about, like, what's going on for the day, and they're like, and then, and then at night, we could play Stardew Valley? I'm like, probably not, guys. Like, we'll see, but, you know, there are other things that we kind of have to get done. I really want to get the house nice and cleaned up for when my wife gets home. She's in uh, officer training at the moment. She'll be gone. She's gone all week. But she'll be home in a couple of days. So tomorrow is going to be a big time. You know what? I'm going to leave the trees and let them all grow. And then we'll pick a day like sometime next week maybe. Or the next time we only have one tool. Next time we'll do axe. And... Um, clean up around the forest and the rest of the map so all right we're gonna pop over to the bus stop real quick and just look for forageables and then we can take the mine carts actually if i wanted to but i don't really need to because i'm going all the way to the quarry and then back i might as well bring thunder uh, for the trip back. Ooh, oh, we can also go and get... Remember the secret note where it said they lost their mom's necklace around the bathhouse. Well, the bathhouse is the little... It's the spa up here next to the train station. And they dropped their necklace right here. Boop. Ready? I usually get this secret note in the winter, and then you have to wait to do this one because that little pot, you know, body of water right there is actually frozen in winter. You can't even fish anything out of there. But we got that, and now we just need to uh, return it. So, a fancy necklace found in the water outside of the bathhouse. It's still wet. Now, where was the... Uh it doesn't even say who this is from, um, but it's Maru, or not Maru, um, Abigail talking about Caroline's necklace. So whoever I talk to next, I will get friendship points with. If I talk to Abigail, I will get the friendship points, but like nothing happens with Caroline, I think. If you give it to Caroline... Um, you get friendship points with Caroline, but lose friendship points with Abigail. So we're going to give it to Abigail. But do I need to do anything else here? Nope. Whatever this one is, is the last one that we'll have to really do anything with. But there are only two more out there. So, how do you like them apples? <clears throat> Okay, let's hurry up and pop into Robin's here. Nope, get in there before she closes. Excuse me. <coughs> um, I know we talked about buying the pigs tomorrow, but I'm really considering just go ahead and upgrade the coop. But I don't, I don't really think I want to do that. Why don't we do this, the the uh, mill? 150 wood, 50 stone, 4 cloth. Oh my gosh, go like that, because that's driving me nuts. I got too much stuff on me. <coughs> uh, foraging, boom. 100 and... You know what? Go like that. This will be a little faster. And then that guy goes in there. We're good on spring onions. Oh, I don't have four cloth, do I? Nope, I only have two. Well, that stinks. Go ahead and put that stuff back because I'm not going to cheat and give myself pieces of cloth just to do the mill. I don't care that much about the mill. So, 
Actually, let's look and see if she's selling any new recipes. Boom. Doesn't she sell... Maybe it... Maybe you have to unlock the furniture catalog. Um, and I don't know how you do that. Maybe complete the community center. But anyway. All right. Let's go ahead and go to the rock quarry. And really not a whole lot else for us to do today, guys. We can't go downtown, so... As much as I would like to at least like pop into the saloon at night and say hi to everybody, we're not allowed. It is off limits. Ooh, we got a jade in there. So that's kind of cool. Give me a prismatic shard, though. That would be real cool. Real cool, guys. Oh, this is my mama calling. Hang on a second. Okay. Um, so, I just got some sad news. My mom called. And really good friends of our family that... The one guy was a, he was the principal when I was in middle school, and his wife was a fifth grade teacher at our elementary school. They were sitting at a stoplight, and a pickup truck came and rear-ended them, um, like never even slowed down, rear-ended them, and hit them so hard that they hit four other vehicles. Um, and the husband was killed and his wife barely survived. Like she's in really bad shape. So I'm going to wrap up this episode cause I need a minute. Cause I, it's just, I mean, like I'm an emotional person and I sit here and just, I think like, what if, if you know, if that was my, my family or whatever. So. You just, you just never know. You know what I mean? So, that's that. Um, so we'll, like I said, we're going to wrap up this episode because I don't know if I can, <laughs> I don't know how much I'll be able to chit chat through the rest of this one anyway. I know it's kind of early and we really don't have that much to do. Honestly, the best thing for me might be to just sit here and play Stardew, but to try and talk while I do it might be a little tough, because I'm just kind of, you know, it's just, it sucks. I had three kids that they're all full grown, like their youngest was a year older than me, and we played, you know, sports together growing up, and so... All right, enough of that. Man. All right, so we made 10 grand. We will have enough for pigs in the next episode, so that's definitely on the agenda. Uh, it'll be the egg festival. We will do the challenge, uh, but if it's you can't go downtown or to the beach again, we're going to void it and spin again. What is up with the rhubarb taking forever? <coughs> um, we got some more row down there. We got another blobfish. Bunch of cauliflower and strawberries. So it'll be a really good financial day. Mainly because we're going to sell all the cauliflower. Should we sell the cauliflower? Or should we take the cauliflower and make juice instead of strawberries? And, you know, just sell the strawberries. I don't know. We'll figure it out in the next episode, though. So, if you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Comment below. And we will see you all next time. Wait. Now we'll see you next time.